Welcome back everyone to another brand new video today and today's video is going to be a bit different. I'm going to be diving into a few things that have allowed one of my businesses to generate £1,387,000 in the last year and essentially give you some key pointers all through this video and how you can achieve these sorts of numbers as well. Now just before we do get started, if you are struggling with Google Ads, as you know, I have a Google Ads agency, adraw.co.uk. Click the link in the top of the description if you're looking for a team of experts to run and manage your Google Ads for you. So if you are a regular viewer, you'll know that I usually use my USA side of the business as sort of my case study and point of reference in pretty much all of my videos. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about my other business, which is a combination of UK Canada and Australia all in one Shopify store. It is its own separate brand with its own separate products, branded packaging, branded products and things like that. So we do quickly just take a look. In 2023, this Shopify store did 1.3 million pounds in sales, almost 1.4 mil you can see here. Obviously peaking in Q4 like most e-commerce businesses do. So I guess an important thing to take away from this already is that don't just focus on one country when you start to scale your business. It is good to focus Focus on one right at the beginning if you've got a small budget you don't want to spread yourself too thin across multiple geographical locations but as you scale and introduce more ad budget you can start scaling quite easily into other countries on the various ad platforms you might be using Facebook makes it incredibly easy Google's a little bit more challenging with shopping ads and things like that but once it's set up it's done and it's very easy to do so if you do want a separate video on international setup for Google shopping ads leave a comment down below so this video is going to include a lot of very important things that you can implement in your business to you know grow it to potential numbers like this and one of the first things I do want to point out is the look and appearance of your websites now I get a lot of people and I know it's very harsh and very brutal they'll send me their Shopify store link or we'll get leads on our Google Ads agency for example they'll send across their URL and quite simply it looks like a Shopify store that has been made in about 20 minutes now obviously we're not in 2015 2016 anymore that might have worked almost a decade ago but as of now 2024 it is so important to have a clean looking website preferably with your own unique product images your own photography because ripping things from AliExpress or wherever you source your products from and not taking or using your own images is only gonna put buyers off because they may have seen them elsewhere especially if you're running Google Ads and Google Shopping Ads if you're appearing next to other drop shippers that are using the same product images then that is gonna be a big red flag for people now an example here for me and this particular store I probably do about half of the product imagery myself luckily I'm quite fortunate enough where I live and my house and things like that there's a lot of sort of areas in the house and outside that provide good backdrops and a good environments for product photography simply shot on an iPhone you don't need fancy cameras or you can arrange with your suppliers to potentially source photography as well and that is where sort of the other 50% of my images come from these are all extremely high quality even the ones I shoot myself on the iPhone they make you stand out from the competition and I even watermark my images as well by putting my logo and URL or things like that on the images so people can't steal them but leading on from that if you start to develop your own products that aren't again just drop ship from China people won't be able to steal them because if you've created a product yourself then people aren't going to find it on AliExpress or Alibaba and things like that now there's no denying obviously cheap drop shipping products still can probably create a bit of cash flow for you something that may go viral on TikTok or have quick sort of impulse buyers on Facebook for example but these products are typically at the lower price range and they're not going to last probably longer than a couple of months and these pump and dump products are never going to be sustainable enough for you to build a brand from and that for me has been one of the most important lessons over the last couple of years and that is focus on building an actual brand and experience for customers like I said at the start of video you don't want a cheap tacky looking Shopify dropshipping store because that isn't a business that isn't a brand and you'll soon realize like most people it's not going to generate any sales or any sort of income for you which is why the vast majority of drop shippers to begin with fail and now there's nothing wrong with drop shipping at the start I still ship a lot of my products from China they're stored in a private warehouse with a private fulfillment agent and they ship most of my orders for me simply because it works out cheaper to store products and ship them from there rather than storing and shipping them from UK warehouses you know Australian warehouses and US warehouses but there will come a point where you want to improve fulfillment at least 
least for your best sellers. So most of my best sellers, particularly in Q4 when it is busiest, they are stocked locally and shipped from the relevant countries, i.e. US, UK, Australia, and Canada. Obviously a brand is something you build over time. You can't build a brand overnight because brand heavily relies on people's perspective of your business, how often they see your business as well, as well as the types of things you offer. And this can just be in the forms of regular content on social media. If people are clicking your ads a lot, it's bringing them back to your brand. And more often than not, people do visit your brand slash business a few times before committing to that purchase. A lot of customers do their own research, such as Googling reviews for your business. And that is an incredibly important area to improve and build. And that is reviews on legitimate review websites like Trustpilot. Obviously, you can import your own reviews to Shopify and on your website. But when people can see actual reviews that are verified on a platform like Trustpilot, it really does solidify the trust that a potential customer has in your brand. And just an example, this business here, this Shopify store of mine has just under 700 Trustpilot reviews with a 4.4 out of five star rating, which for Trustpilot, you know, even if I do say so myself is, is pretty impressive. Now I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, okay, so how do I convey the message of brand better through my landing pages and website? And a way you can do this is actually branding your products, your packaging, and the experience people get from it as well. Couple this with, like I said, your own product pictures. If you've got a custom product with your custom label on it, custom packaging, and you take those high quality images, and that is what people are seeing on your website, again, they're buying into the brand and they're not just buying a cheap sort of knockoff or just unbranded product. So using this business, again, as an example, most of the best sellers here have branded packaging. They've got custom labels on the actual product as well, which obviously have things like the logo on them, other details about the brand and product as well. Just think yourself when you buy a branded product that you use personally, for example, an Apple MacBook, which is what I'm recording this with. Think of all the small intricate details that come with that product. You've got the high quality packaging. You've got the experience when you're opening that packaging as well. You know, the slow reveal thing with most Apple products. I'm not entirely sure if Apple still do this, but you still have the extra little things in the packaging like the Apple stickers. Just those little things enhance the experience. Might cost you a few pennies per order, but they really do help, again, build that brand. And that will bring customers back to your business and building that returning customer rate is incredibly important. Now, if you operate in a competitive market, a good way to differentiate yourself and build your brand further is offering more transparency and again, better product quality with this. Now, just an example of this, if you're developing your own products, you might want to apply for certifications for your product. For example, if you're using all natural materials for your product, you might want to file and apply for certification that 100% certifies your product as 100% natural or organic or anything of that sort of nature. And that is something you can plaster all over your product page and a lot of buyers will buy into that. Probably not the best way of putting it because buying into that means, you know, they're, they're buying into something that might be not true. Obviously you want it to be true. So elevating yourself above the competition with having, like I said, 100% natural products or organic products or high quality materials. If you're selling a wooden product, for example, many wooden products like a bed, let's say, are made, you know, cheaply. They're made with metal or they're made with sort of low quality wood. If you can prove and advertise that your product is, for example, 100% oak wood, then that elevates your product above the rest and again, establishes your brand as trusted, as high quality. So the product is overall incredibly important and building on that product with things, like I said, certifications, high quality, unique product images really will help the growth of your business. Now, in terms of generating these sorts of numbers with sales, the video before this on my channel is very useful to look at. I dive deep into marketing areas like Google ads, Facebook ads, and email marketing as well. I'm not going to go into them in this video because literally last video, I outlined a few methods which helped me create multiple seven figures of revenue for my businesses. Another thing I want to touch on is mindset. Incredibly important in this industry now. I like to say to clients and you know people I mentor, just stop worrying about what everyone else is doing. I have a great example and I'm sure he won't mind me sharing this little story with you and that is someone I've been speaking to on Instagram. He's got a UK based business which has been struggling a bit recently and he sort of given me an outline and you know detailed his situation you know he's struggling to generate sales he's using google ads it's not really getting him any cash flow but the key thing he told me is that two years ago he had a product that was doing really well it was his best seller it accounted for i think 80 90 percent of his revenue his business took a bit of a dip 
but this product is still available for him to sell but he's not advertising it anymore and he's not selling it anymore and the reason being he thought the whole business was just obviously crashing down and you know it was almost the end of it but i said to him instead of wasting money trying to get new products to sell go back and use something that has already proven itself to work start selling this specific product again build up the profit build up the cash flow and then use those profits to start testing other products because if you're completely blindly testing things with no profit coming in from a winner then you're simply just burning cash so if you've had something work in the past whether that's a particular product or a particular advertising method a particular platform for advertising and you're not currently using that now just take a minute to think what has previously worked for me and just try that again or try something similar you'd be surprised how many times in the past I've turned on Facebook campaigns that have been off for a year or two I go back and look at their historic results and think actually let's just try this again I simply turn them back on and they start performing as well as they did you know in their prime two sometimes three years ago going back to the idea if you're in a competitive industry another good thing is to become a retailer slash reseller for other brands in your industry a good example for this business that I have it is in quite a competitive market but a particular collection of products I sell aren't my own branded products I resell or I guess I am a retailer for another brand I don't have to buy stock it is still the drop shipping model they actually reached out to me to become an official retailer for these products now I'm not saying wait for these brands to reach out to you because they probably won't this was quite sort of a lucky deal that sort of landed at my feet go out there and potentially strike deals with your competitors or other brands selling similar products see if they offer a drop shipping service because some of them will and this is usually good for the higher ticket items as well which is what this was just an idea maybe send 20 30 brands an email you'll be surprised how many actually get back to you and you may even find on their website by looking in the footer that most of them do offer like a become a retailer or become a reseller tab at the bottom of their website it's definitely worth trying because you're essentially leveraging other brands reputation that already exists to generate and build up your own brand as well and finally I did discuss this in my last video and that is outsourcing now I outsource pretty much every area of my business apart from marketing because that is my area of expertise I outsource email marketing I outsource customer service I even have a logistics slash fulfillment manager who basically make sure all my shipments are dispatched on time that they are delivered on time that there's no errors such as packages being lost or returned to sender in the rare case that there is there's quick action taken to ensure orders are reshipped and without having this person I'd end up issuing a lot more refunds receiving a lot more negative reviews this particular person has been in this manager role for two years now it's one of the best roles I've hired for but the point is here because I've outsourced most tasks in this business other than marketing it frees up a lot of my time and an example of this in the last four months I've been building a third brand it hasn't even launched yet but going through all the things I've mentioned in this video we're slowly getting there and again custom products custom labeling certifications that competitors don't have so just to put that into perspective it takes time like I said four months we've only just finished applying the labels to the products and we're waiting for the first batch of stock to arrive at our warehouse in China it still probably won't launch for another six weeks but I guess the point in this video it does take time there's a lot of little things you have to focus on other than marketing and other than looking for a winning product so I hope the things in this video are going to be of use to you that you can apply them to your business if you've got any questions leave a comment down below if you're looking for more of a one-on-one -on -one mentorship role then please do message me on Instagram but other than that thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video